Well, in the deep dive, we go into the the various theories about how Biggie gets killed. Okay. And, uh, you know, the, the story that first started to circulate was that, that a, a guy that was dressed like a Muslim shot Biggie, a guy, you know, who ultimately was, you know, uh, pinpointed as Amir, Amir Muhammad. And, you know, the story very much differs. You know, like, for example, I could say I know what happened in Tupac's murder, okay. right? After the Keefe D interview and everyone else I've interviewed and all the stories fit together perfectly. It makes sense. I know for a fact that someone in that car killed Tupac. Correct. Now, it, it, now I'm not sure. If it was Dre or if it was Orlando. I don't know if it was Orlando. I don't know if it was Dre. I don't know if it was Keefe. I don't know if it was the other guy. You yeah. know, there was four guys Tyrone. in the car. T-Bone, they call T-Bone, right. You know, I don't know. You know, the, the one thing I did hear from witnesses that were there that they saw a a big bulky arm, st st you know, That's stick out of the statement. yeah, st yeah. stick out of the car and start to, to spray the car up, you know, spray Tupac's uh, BMW up, Shug's BMW that Tupac was in, um, that it was not a skinny arm like how Orlando was built. Yeah. But then again, this is chaos and who, gunshots. Yeah, who, who knows? Who knows what really happened? But I can tell you. I am 99.99% sure that that car, What's one of the people, one of the four people in that car killed Tupac. Yeah. I'm 100% sure of that. Okay. The Biggie situation, I don't really know. Exactly. The stories are too convoluted and there's no real, like, okay, here's the story and here's all the other pieces that fit together with that story. You know, people like Gene Deal and, you know, he also claimed that like Lil C's said a, a quote, Muslim shot Tupac. Um, you know, whereas you talk to other people like yourself and Mob James, Mob James, our last interview said that if you were a betting man, he would say that uh, Pucci, Pucci, Pucci was the Mario one that Falls. killed, yeah, yeah, was the one that that, that killed uh, that killed Biggie. Correct. And you know, and he went on to say certain people in that crew were known for certain things. Pucci was known to be a shooter. Did you know Pucci though? Oh, I know. I, I arrested Pucci before. <laughs> You've arrested with a assault weapon. And a large quantity of, of, of cocaine. Okay. He used the name uh, something Bolton, his alias name. That's mm -hmm. the only reason I feel he got probably got out. But I had arrested him before. Okay. Uh, about a year or two before that um, that incident. Well, no, 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 that's not true. A year or two before I started working at Death Row. Okay. Which is like 95, 96. Was Pucci under investigation for murders at all? None that I know of. Um, but he was suspected and he was known to be a shooter because he was close associates associates with a guy named Little Knob and um, George Williams, George G, who were around. Mm -hmm. And those three, I wouldn't have turned my, my back on because they were the type of guys. Was but it? they weren't the types that y'all see in pictures that often or being around yeah. with Shook. They would just come around periodically. And so that's why James was saying the difference of the type of guy. You had some guys that was there every day, like Buntree, mm -hmm. uh, Big Jake until he he died. Uh, um, um, who else used to travel with us a lot? Like Juju at his time. You had people like that. Um, then you had guys that came around recently. Then you had people like James. Mm -hmm. who came around for special events mm -hmm. when it was large parties and you need numbers. And so yeah. that's what James mean by everybody had a role.